everyone, this is Steve here, back once again, another guitar video for you. So, today's video is all about does the length of your guitar cable have any effect whatsoever on your guitar sound? Now this was something that I remember reading in a guitar magazine back when I first started learning and I remember just reading this at the time and thinking, you yeah, know, that is just about the stupidest thing I've ever heard and I've pretty much gone through most of my guitar playing career completely ignoring it. So anyway, you got to remember, you know, there was no way of proving this or not. You know, you got to remember when I was learning guitar back in the early 90s, you know, there was no internet back then. So there was no real way of, you know, of checking this, this theory out. So anyway, last week, week before, something like that, I'm at the guitar shop and this particular topic of conversation came up. And I, I said exactly the same thing then as I just said now. You know, I don't think it has any impact. I think it's kind of really, really silly. You know, to think that, you know, the length of your cable is going to have any impact on your sound. But like I did with the, um, uh, the you know, the guitar, the acoustic guitar video I did, you know, does the feedback, you know, buster affect your tone? I'll put a link to that just up on the screen up there if you want to go check that out. The only way we're going to really solve this is if I actually go and do it. So that's what we're going to do today. So let me show you the leads I've got going on here. Now all of the cables I'm going to show you are monster cables. My opinion these are the best cables that money can buy. Um, but you know just my opinion. So these are the cables we're going to use. The first one we've got <clears throat> is this one. It's an 18 inch patch cable. The next one we have is a three, I think this is three foot this cable. So that's those two, and then the next two, jumping up here, these are the cables, oh, stay still you, these are the cables that I use uh, live just about every show that I do. So this first one here, this is 20 feet, and finally, the biggest cable of the lot, 30 feet. So, do any of these four cables that you've just seen have any impact on the sound? Well, <clears throat> let's get down to business. So. Let me explain how we're going to do this, okay? I'm currently not sitting on my seat. I'm sat on my top of my Roland JC120. If you want to see a bit more info about this, you can also do that with the rig rundown video that I put up a few weeks ago. There's going to be another link just popping up there right now if you want to check that out. All of the audio is going to be picked up by the microphone that I'm currently talking into, which is a Rode Video Micro. Once again, another link going up there. You can see the review I did of that mic as well. So all the audio, I'm not going to take this and mess around with it. No nothing. It's going to be funny. I don't even know how to do that anyway. So this is just going to be guitar, which as always is going to be the Skurvison plugged into this, being picked up by this mic that's in front of me. So yeah, let's do it. Also, yeah, another thing I forgot to tell you about this um, amp settings. Just you know, for anyone who's interested, I'm going to be using the second channel on uh, the Roland. Um, I've set all the EQ on there completely dead flat. I haven't turned the bright switch on. No stereo chorus, no reverb, no nothing. So just as dry as it gets. All right, so here we go.
Okay, so, well, I have to be honest, I am very, very surprised at the result of that. Again, I've done what I did with the acoustic video, I've listened to this a few times, and, you know, once again, you know, the amount of top end that we've actually got lost, the longer the cables got, um, really did surprise me. Um, I wasn't expecting that at all, but you know what, man, you know, as I said at the beginning of this video, you know, I thought, you know, the length of cable, you know, affecting your sound was a complete myth, and as it turns out, no, the, you know, the guitar magazines and, you know, what they said back then was right. You know, the length of cable does have an effect on your sound. And, you know, do I care that I've been proven, you know, wrong? No, of course I don't. You know, I mean, I, you know, until you try this stuff out, you've got absolutely no idea of knowing. And, of course, as I said, when I started learning guitar all those years ago, you know, there was, you know, there was no internet. You know, you had no way of verifying anything, you know. And this is why I'm doing these videos, you know, because if you're, you know, if you're watching this and you're a young player that's just starting out, and you know somebody tells you something, well, you know, there's even when I started, there was so many, there were so many things that were written out there or whatever, and now with you know the internet, you know, there's so much more out there. It's, you know, what do you believe? You know, who 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 do you listen to? So, no, there you go. Very very surprised at the result of that. Um, yeah, one thing I suppose I could concede is does the quality of the cables you're using, you know, is that going to make a difference? You know, I'm, you know, I'm prepared to admit that, you know, maybe maybe it does. But then, I, again, I can't prove that. I haven't got a whole plethora of guitar cables to choose from. I can only use the ones that I've got. But, no, there you are. Very pleasantly surprised, I have to say. So, there you are, people. That's the result of that. So leave that there i hope you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching if you have please like and subscribe to the channel and i'll be back with you soon all right people take it easy keep practicing bye bye